Welcome to the Office Instructor channel. Today I want to show you how to insert horizontal lines in Word documents. Actually, there are several ways for inserting a divider line in Word documents. Beginners usually type a whole line of dashes or underscore and at the end of the line they either type a space or press shift enter. A soft return. If you want a double line, you can use the equal sign instead. The line created by this primitive technique can be formatted with different character formatting options. There is an alternative for this method, which is actually a shortcut. If you type three dashes and hit enter immediately after, Word replaces the dashes by a horizontal line. This is called auto format as you type. You can insert a bold line by typing three underscores followed by hitting enter. Other line shapes can also be created using the same technique. To insert a double line, type three equal signs, then hit enter. To insert a dotted line, type three asterisks followed by hitting enter. Or you can insert a triple line by typing three pound signs followed by hitting enter. To insert a wavy line, type three tildes to the left of number one on your keyboard, then hit enter. You can always instruct Word to stop converting these characters into lines by pointing to the Smart Options tag and from the drop list select Stop Automatically Creating Border Lines. If later on you wish to enable this feature once again, in Office 2010, go to the Backstage view, the File tab, and select Options. From the left pane, select Proofing, then click on the autocorrect options to open the autocorrect dialog box. On the auto format as you type tab, check the box next to border lines, then click OK. In Word 2007, you click the orb or the office button, then select word options button, then follow the same steps. In Word 2003, you go to the Format menu. Click on Auto Format. From the Auto Format dialog box, click the Options button. The Auto Correct dialog box opens, from which you select the Auto Format as you type tab and check the Border Lines box. Although this method of shortcut for inserting various lines is practical, but the disadvantage is that you cannot change the line color as you did in the previous method. Even if you select the whole document by pressing Ctrl plus A and change the color of the whole document, the line color remains unchanged. The third method is the most common method for inserting a line by using the borders button on the home tab. We select the paragraph or the heading, then click button border to insert a line below or top border to insert a line above. We can also open the borders and shading dialog box from the same drop list to specify the line color and thickness before applying it. If you wish to have full control on your line specification, you can go to the Insert tab, click on Shapes, select Line Shape, then in the document, drag from a starting point 
to an end point while pressing shift to ensure that the line is perfectly horizontal. A format contextual tab pops up with unlimited options to format your line style, your line color, the dashes, you can even apply effects and also rotate the line. The fifth and final method to insert a horizontal line is actually a workaround the problem. If I type a full line of text, then apply white font color to that text, you can't see the text anymore. You will then click the underline button, then select a different underline color. It will look exactly like a horizontal line. Alright, thank you for watching and see you next video.